this new lesson here which just says new lesson because I just uploaded the video I didn't say what kind of lesson it hey my friends Jean-Serge Gagnon today we're going to talk about creating a course or publishing your course your simple online course from a full video now we've done a few other episodes on that we can go back to that but today we're doing the actual publishing how you co you can publish that on a platform and we're going to get to that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. All right, so you've got a course, you recorded the video, you did a, you know, 30 minute hour video, you recorded all the pieces and you cut them up into individual pieces. Now, I'm not going to go into those details in this episode because I did that the past two episodes, so go look those up. But we're going to take what we've done so far, which is a full video that we re-recorded and then split up the pieces in separate little videos and we're going to actually create a course from that how do you publish that where do you go what do you need and we're going to get to that but before we do that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis422.jsgagnon.com because I will be sharing my screen and I will be showing you how to do it hands-on all right so let's get right to it so my uh screen like you know there's lots of different platforms where you can have courses this is clicky courses so one we're going to use but the process and the function the way to do it is, is similar on other platforms I find that this is easier in terms of the kind of video we're the kind of course we're trying to do right now but basically if I go in here and I just kind of show you if I log in uh, normally this is what you're going to want to do you're going to go want to go to actually click a course income click ecourse.com right where we have right here so click ecourse.com and you're going to want to go and click on the register button me I already have an account so I'm just going to log in but I'll also show you in a minute how to register right so let's just do that I'm just going to click on login with Facebook which is going to be register with Facebook in your case if you want to use uh, Facebook to register uh, but I'm just going to show you uh, the process to create a course so now when we look at this for example we got a I, actually we have a course right here which is a free course you should definitely go and check that out if you go to there and then you go creating your first course um this kind of goes through the process which we're going to do right now as you can see there's some that are red those you won't have you don't have access to as a new person but um yeah I'm kind of getting ahead here let's just go back to the basics let's start actually let's do that let's start by creating an account right so I'm just going to log out right here I go here I scroll all the way down actually you can't see that let's just move that out of there yeah uh, there's a logout button right there so you just click on the logout um you won't have to do that <laughs> sorry I probably didn't need to worry about showing you I just wanted to show you where the logout was but once you've gotten that uh when you go to the site if you just if you just go to click ecourse.com you're going to come to this page here which is really just kind of an about what is the site about and who can use it <coughs> but what you want to do is you want to click on this register button right here and you want to click on continue with Facebook that'll automatically set up your email it'll automatically set up your profile picture and your um and your account so you're going to be able to log in using Facebook in the future right now because I don't want to go to my account that has a whole bunch of courses and a whole bunch of stuff set up already I'm just going to go ahead and create a use an email and password you might want to do that because maybe your Facebook account has got a password from an, an email from you know 10 years ago that you don't even use anymore so maybe you will want to use this just the difference is that you're not going to get a profile picture you're going to have to do that yourself afterwards but that's fine so see let's just call this we said this is a and uh like this oops so I gotta do the right uh, I have a domain so that's why I can just do whatever at this domain but 
if I click on this register button it'll tell me oh, I'll just save that it'll tell me right here account created please check your email at whatever your email is right and that'll uh open, create your account now if I go to email in my email now I just go back to my email that's actually something I did earlier if I just reload you'll see that I have a new email now from um from a click ecourse which says account activation and it looks like this right whoops why did that oh sorry looks like this so it'll tell you this it'll say you or someone else requested an account blah 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 so you will click now you if you click the Facebook you'll be able to skip over that that won't matter so if I just click on this this activates the account or, and shows me that it's successfully activated and shows the feed I probably should have done that over here if I just reload this page now because I'm now logged in you can see right here there's a little profile picture that has a question mark in it that's because I didn't do it with Facebook if you did it with Facebook this will show you your profile now, okay that's your account you got your account set up now how do you create a course you click on the plus here and you just say course you just click on course that'll let you create a course so that's really <laughs> that's simple to create a course so now I'm going to just call this uh you know test course right so that's gonna be the title you choose the title of your course now in your case if we went back if you go back through what the process we went through the last two episodes you should have now a full video and you should have pieces of that video as lessons you don't you 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 will need to upload those lessons to uh YouTube or you can do it also in um you can also do it in Vimeo as well but I uploaded these in YouTube a few of them anyways 11 12 13 right so I just had these videos let's just kind of show you I had these videos uh where are we? these videos Doo -doo -doo -doo. let me just get to there okay so I had these videos right I had these videos here that I extracted out of the big video which says it here no the big video is not here it's in it's actually it was inside my uh course income secret episode from last week and the week before but I basically took these out of that th that video and I split them out using the tools that I talked about in the previous episodes right so now I have these and I basically just uploaded them to YouTube now if you don't know how to use a YouTube uh you know we're not going to go into the whole details of it but basically you would click on the create button right here you say upload video and then you select the files you want to upload and you know you choose the videos that you want to upload and click on open right we're not going to bother with that but after that's done then you just you can make them unlisted if you want um and once you've got them unlisted they're in YouTube and if you want to actually have let's talk I'll talk about that in a second let's just talk about the basics of the course now we're creating the course we've got the title you're going to have a summary this is going to show you how to abc right so that's your summary and then your details you can have you know a whole page of details if you want in here and uh I'm not going to bother with that right now but basically you fill this in based on your course what is your course what are you doing with your course you'll notice that there's a, these uh, blue, green buttons up top here these are the tabs to go through you can also click on the next right here which takes you to the next tab as you can see it was on summary now it's on type but you could click directly on them if I click on summary here it goes back to this uh, page if I click on type right here it goes to there so in, the, in our case we don't need really anything other than the cover image we probably we could probably set the categories right and categories it kind of lets you um decide are you into is this a course about you know health about eating is it about exercising is it about uh, well in my case it's a course on, on online marketing it's a course on how to use a tool right so the categories is where you would decide what kind of category your your uh, course is about cover image is where you would set an image so I'm just going to choose a file here that I have in here 
I think I have it under publishing assets oh actually I haven't I have it in here no going up over here I got some images let's just use say this image here click on next that's just my image now if I go back here you can see now the image is there right so price commission that's where you decide how much is your course is it is it free so just leave it blank it'll be a free course you can say it's you know 50 dollars. you can say it's 47 dollars a drip price is something else don't worry about that right now uh, but you can set a price if you want and you can also set a commission percentage do you want to give other people commissions on your course so that they can promote it for you right uh, so you can do that uh, normally the default is 30 but you can set it to zero if you don't want to give them any or you can set it to as much as 100 if you want right 100 percent um so that's yeah but anyways let's just leave it at 30 for now let's click on next and then uh, the access and the sales you don't need to worry about that just click on the done now that we have the basics of the course we've got the title of the course right test course in my case and the description and then the details I didn't put anything so that's why it says that I've got the image right here now we've got a course now we gotta put lessons in it so the way to do lessons as you can see right here there's a big plus to add a lesson a big plus to add files so lessons are videos that you want to put in your course files or anything else it could be a pdf it could be a powerpoint presentation it could be uh, not it, it could even be another video if you wanted if you want to have a, a video as a file versus one of the lessons you can actually put it down here doesn't matter it's whatever you want it could be even an image like you know the um the mind the mind uh, mind map as an image right could be that that's in there lots of courses have that uh, that's what the files are for so in our case we want to create the lesson so we're going to add a lesson right here and the lesson is similar you've got uh you, you can actually specify details and things like that right now we're just going to put the url to the youtube video which is over here I just go here let's say I want to put this number 11 over here I just go to the three little dots get a shareable link go back to the course click on the paste the link inside of here and click on save so now that what that's going to do is going to go get the information the title and the summary and all that and the thumbnail from YouTube itself right so and if I just click on add new lesson again let's go add another one let's do number 12 which is this one here and the same thing we go do that we paste it right here and we just save it now we have two lessons let's do another one and I want to talk about what why you would want to upgrade your um, account as well because the free account lets you do what we're doing right now right so I go back to here number 13 put that over here now obviously the lessons I have right now they're not right this is not really the right it's not going to be the right course it's going to be missing stuff and but that doesn't matter because what I'm just trying to show you that is the process of creating a course right as you can see it's relatively simple to do this right it's quite easy to just add lessons now if I click on the course or I can actually click on the title up here takes me back to the course itself you'll see now that if I scroll down there are three lessons and they're also red that means they're not public if I if I go back to the edit on each any of these right if I click on the little edit icon it takes me back to the edit with all the summary and details and everything else so I can actually go in here and I can actually change this uh let's just say um data access and then I'm going to say I'm just going to take that number out of there I want that there and uh in the details I'm going to say this lesson shows you how to access the data after your right, after the extension and this is you know obviously this is totally specific to what I'm teaching to what this course is about for you it'll obviously be whatever your course is about right so but this this is uh what I'm saying here this is how um uh, has completed its work right so that 
is it lets me change this now if I want to I can change uh, here let's do one thing at a time here so if I click on save now we go back to the course and you're going to see that this one is now different it doesn't say you know 11 or 12 or 13 like this it just says data access and it says that down here but it's still red and that's because if I go back to edit again that's because the uh, status up here is still on draft right so whenever you were ready you can actually publish your and post in the feed without notifying students or if you're adding a core a lesson to a course that already exists you might want to actually notify the students by email that there's a new lesson in the course which is kind of cool that you can do that uh, but in it in this case we just want to make it published silently because this is not even a course that's public yet so we'll just do that and we'll save it <laughs> and if I go back to the course again like this now you can tell that this particular one is now no longer red which means it's public now you can also click on the publish now right here which will actually publish the lesson directly here but the thing you have to remember is if the course is not yet published see how it says this course is not still not published even if you publish lessons nobody can access it because the course is not public so what we want to do is we want to edit the actual course which is the edit up top here this edit button right there and we want to make this course access you click on the access right there and you choose what kind of access your course has you can make it public anybody can see the course details you can make it for users so only people that have an account on Click eCourse which means if I go here and I open this in incognito whenever whenever somebody who comes to the website goes to the courses tab they see whatever courses are public but they don't have an account yet right you can see right here it's you're not logged in so that means that these are all public courses that they can actually see and maybe you know purchase because if you click on a course and you're not logged in you'll you'll be still be able to buy the course if I click on this I can actually buy the course right now right and it'll just take me to PayPal or allow me to buy it and at the same time it'll allow me to create an account so that I have access to the course right so you might want to have your course public if you want anybody to be able to buy it but maybe you want to make it available only to people who are actually logged in who actually have an account so that's what this is for then buyers means that only people who bought the course can see it and unlisted means you need to have a link so this you could have either buyers or unlisted that means that you'll have to send people the link to your course for them to even see it and potentially buy it right but it could also be a free course maybe you're putting together a free course like me I'm putting together a free course for my extension well I want people to be able to access that course to get to understand how to use the extension so I'm probably going to make it public but I could make it unlisted or buyers only in this case because this is a test I'm just going to make it unlisted so if I click on unlisted and I say done when I when it goes back to the course you're going to see now it says this course is hidden and only available by link above which is this link right here which which is whatever the link is for that uh for that for the course right so that's kind of how that works so let's just move that back up here oops there we go okay so that link now you can say share you can click on the share here which will give the link to to share the course if you want um, even though it's a hidden course people can't find it by going to the courses tab but they can still find the course if you give them the link to it right that's kind of how that works and they'll be able to watch the videos if the videos if they have the course in their library because once you create a course people can't necessarily see the videos that are in the course unless they add it to their library which means if it's a free course it's just clicking a button and adding it if it's a paid course they got to buy it before they can add it to the library and that's and like I said this is this this is the simplest way to create a course other platforms you know other platforms they they make you I mean yes okay a course that's got modules and that's got sections and that's got you know properly organized curriculum and all that stuff is definitely more um uh what's the word it's definitely more 
uh, tuned or more uh, more um, easy to ex to 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 know to navigate maybe or more to understand what the course is about but if you're trying to create a simple course that just has you know video one two three four or video one to twenty or whatever the number of videos is this is a lot simpler and I don't think any other I I don't think any other platform lets you create a course this way with just these kinds of <coughs> with just you know videos like this I'm going to add another lesson here I'm going to add another one it's going to be number uh, 15 is it again I'll do that go back over here now one thing you might have noticed is we're doing YouTube links right we're doing YouTube links for the lessons now that is oh I, let's add another lesson again I'm going to do another one which will be number 16 I got 16 shareable link and there you go okay so that as you can see we're putting YouTube links here right so that means that these videos are actually on YouTube now if I go back to the course here let's make this public as well publish this one publish this one so now we've got five videos in the course but these videos if I click on this it'll if I go and it'll take me to the actual um lesson page which starts with this little intro video that's part of the platform this video here you're seeing it because you're on the free plan we're on the free plan so this is why you see this then you see the video itself so I can click on it and I can play it let's just mute it oh it's not playing okay yeah so you can see the video you can watch it anybody who's you know accessing the course will see this and they'll be able to watch the videos if the video if the course like I said again if the course is free and you have access but you can see this is the YouTube link you can see that I've got the YouTube title right here it says YouTube down there the next I can actually click on this to go to YouTube to watch a video on YouTube right so you might not want that because you know how YouTube has ads and YouTube has other things so if you want to have the videos hosted right on the platform you can and that's what I was getting at a second ago if you go to your well actually you can go to plans here or if you just click on your little profile you're going to see what plan you're on you are on free plan it says right here right so you can click to upgrade and that'll take you to the upgrade options <clears throat> down here the default is obviously it's going to ask you to upgrade to the, the highest level plan but if you look at this you can see the difference between the different plans so this is the free plan this is the beginner plan this is the influencer plan so you can see down here the no's and the yeses that kind of shows you what features are available on the different plans right and down the very bottom you're going to see the 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 you know the the things like how much commission you get and um how many points uh, you earn for these different things how many lessons you can have how many courses you can create and over here this is where we want to see the YouTube where's the YouTube so can embed videos from YouTube video and lessons right all the plans let you do that obviously the even the free plan lets you do that but you can upload where is it I forget which plan uh where the there it is you can upload videos instead of using so now if you want to be able to upload videos yourself instead of hosting it on YouTube or Vimeo or Facebook you can actually go to this plan which is the influencer plan and that will let you upload the videos to the platform so all you got to do is you click on the select here and obviously if you upgrade here's the difference between the other plans right you're going to see things like uh, maximum courses you can create there's two in the free account 10 in the basic 30 in the influencer 75 so depending on how many courses you think you're going to have you might want to upgrade to a higher level the other thing is membership sites you can create the uh, links in the link page site all these things have different levels but let's just say we want to upgrade to the influencer plan you click on this and then you have the option of paying once a year or paying every month and depending on which option you choose here you can click the button to upgrade that'll just take you to the PayPal so you click on this and it'll take you to PayPal so you can actually order it in my case obviously this is my account already but it's going to tell you uh, the price and you'll be able to just you know uh, so 
page I'm going to click on cancel and what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to go to my account and upgrade this test account uh, and I'll be right back all right so now I've upgraded the account as you can see it says current plan influencer plan so now when I go back to the course and by the way to find your courses if you're like where am I where's my course it's hidden away so I can't I can't click on courses here to find it right so this course that I created I want to go add another lesson I want to go and edit it it's not going to be here right so how do you find it you can either click on courses in your library or courses you created so courses you created is what you want but there's also over here courses in your menu if you click on courses um you will get to your courses the courses you created this is the course we created so we just click on it takes me back to that course where I can go and edit it and change it right okay so now that I have upgraded my account I can actually add a lesson and you're going to see now that instead of just now instead of just the link I actually have a, a the ability here to say upload video instead and then I can choose a file and I can actually upload that let's say go back to here under my that course right here so I'm going to just do this again number 11 right here I'm going to save that now that's going to upload to cool clicky course it's going to upload it there so let's get just get rid of that link right there it's going to upload that to here and that's how you create a course where you actually upload the difference is going to be now if I go back to the course uh you're going to see now that I have this new lesson here which just says new lesson because I just uploaded the video I didn't say what kind of lesson it was right I'm going to publish it and it's also you see how this one is 36 minutes 36 seconds it's the same video but I guess YouTube has an extra few seconds on it if I click on play now of this video you're going to see now that video has no YouTube link to it it doesn't have YouTube anywhere no, it doesn't, doesn't have right so it's just a video that's right embedded in the platform and nobody you know can go and they're not going to get YouTube ads or thing like that so you can actually do that with the platform as long as you upgrade your account so that's uh, the other way to do that now what else can we talk about um in inside of here so like I said these are simple edits now if I go to where is it if I go back to the course um doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. click on this link it takes me back to the course itself and it shows me the lessons on the bottom here but if I, I see right here the course I can actually edit the course right here right there's also an edit right there anyways it's so if I click on edit the course the, oh here's the other thing you might want to have deals and coupons for your course check it out manage deals and coupons I can actually add a price of let's say seven dollars and it's going to start right now and it's going to end uh let's say 25 right I'm going to submit that that's the price right now so that's a deal so there's two different kinds of pricing specials you can do a deal what deal what the deal does is if I reload the page now it'll show that the course is right now seven dollars until the 25th right so that's a deal that's actually automatic pricing based on dates right so you can set the deal to start in a few days on a specific day or you know you can you it doesn't have to be right now the deal could start in a week from now in a month from now where whatever timing you want you can do that and then the other thing you can do is a coupon so coupon is going to give you a one let's see so let's just call it one dollar and I'm going to give it only 10 people can buy it at that price so you can say how many people can use it so if I say submit here now I have this one dollar if I open this in incognito which is the I can give people this link or I can just give them the coupon the, num, the coupon and that'll take them to this page with the one dollar price right now there's 10 of these so it'll actually show people nine eight seven if they access it right so the coupon is right here and you can actually buy this for that coupon price so you can actually do that right you can do that with the courses that you host here and you can have as many coupons as you want 
uh, you can have different coupons and you can like one of the things you can do for example you can have a say a one dollar coupon a ten dollar coupon a fifty dollar coupon right so you can have those coupons and you can make them available on a website and you know the one dollar coupon has only 10 and the 25 dollar has 20 of them and the 50 dollar has you know 50 of them or whatever so that way if somebody wants to buy it for a dollar they click on that dollar coupon and if they're all sold out already then they're going to see that they can't buy the one dollar because it'll say zero it'll say there's it's not available anymore so you can do things like that right you can do things like that and so yeah so that's the coupons what else can I tell you oh the other thing you can do is menu so you see right here how when I go to the less the course if I go to this lesson here you can see now that the side here shows the courses it shows the lessons that you can go to directly to the other lessons if I want to go to the other lesson right here I can click on it, it takes me to the other lesson it's uh, a little bit of a navigation kind of not not it's this is something I did in the beginning it's not exactly like what people maybe expect right so what you can do if you go back to the course here what you can do is set menus enable menus so this is over here you would say enable menu <clears throat> and now you have menus over here so if I go to the lesson right here for example you can see all the different lessons that are here in the course and you can hide it if you want you can go to information or you can click on details to go to the course <clears throat> if I go to one of these I can go straight to it right and it takes me directly to that and you can even hide you can even hide these down here if you don't want people to be able to see this list here you can actually hide that so hide lessons and that lets you just show the one main main window now we're seeing it right now because we're at the in the editor but if I open this say in a let's just click on whoops let's click on share and if I right click and open in incognito you can see now that um we can see we can't see the list of lessons you can see in a second here when it loads you see the course but that's it there's nothing else down here so all it is is the videos right here I can click on videos I can go to say this one now it'll tell me I can't have access because this is a course that's you know it's not free and it'll but if it was a free course by the way that's something else you can do let's do that you can actually have your course be free so let's edit the course and let's make the course free let's say we want it to be free right uh, under uh, price commission we set it to zero dollars right just say done and then <laughs> it's a free course right you see right there it says free course now if I try to access this course share again I go in the incognito window <laughs> now it's going to tell me that this course is free so it just says register to add right so it's a free course you can access the course but it doesn't mean that you can like I can't if I go to videos it'll say this is a course that's free it says right here you are since you're not logged in you can't keep track of your status you also see ads by registering a free account log in you can control some of these and log in to add course to your library right so it's a free course but you still need to log in to access it now there's a third level of freeness if you want that is each lesson if you choose you can make them free so if I want this lesson here so like for example if you're doing a course where you want to have like a an intro that's available to watch even if they don't add it to their you know uh, add it to their uh, library because you want them to be able to see what it's about before they add it right they want to they, they want to see you know what your style is and whatever so what you do here is you make it free say free and you say save and now if I go back to the um if I go back to the course in incognito open link so you're going to see now that it says you can watch the free lesson you don't have to add it to your to your library 
you can just uh, watch that free lesson that's available now you can have more than one free lesson uh which you'd you'd have to know which one is free there but you know, I just click on a watch now and that'll let me watch that free lesson of course there's going to be the little intro all the time uh but let's see it's just starting it's loading up there there's our little uh, little buddy that's going I, I'll just skip right over to the end here right there and then it loads that particular lesson that is free the lesson that's free it's going to just play it and uh, that's basically how it works that's how you allow a lesson to be viewed even if they don't have it even if they're not logged in right well, just a, just so this has the so that's the way to make a lesson free so that they can ha have it as an introduction to your to you right basically an introduction to you so that they can see what you're about this is so I know we covered a lot um and it's kind of all over the place but at the same time I think I hope that you got some value from this kind of show you a little bit of how to create a course from simple of simple videos just a bunch of videos you separate it out from a long video and then you can just create a course from that All right see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.